So hello, this is the police here. <clears throat> and today I'm going to run Nova Bench on my computer. And I'm just gonna show you how it performs. Because I also have MSI Afterburner open and I'm overclocking my ASUS GTX 650. Right now I have a 60 megahertz boost running on the core clock and the memory clock. I have an extra 25 megahertz boost and I have it on auto cooling and right now it's running a nice 46 degrees Celsius which is plenty cool for a GPU and my graphic, or I mean my uh, CPU is also overclocked I have <clears throat> CPU-Z running here it's the AMD Phenom 2 6 core 1075T and its stock frequency is 3 gigahertz. I have it overclocked to 3.4 and it's 3.9 turbo core. Right now I just have the ASUS's EPU program running on here so that's why it's being throttled down to 900 megahertz. So if I start moving stuff around and that goes away on Windows. Forgot about that. If I start moving windows around and whatever, it'll uh, jump up, usually. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to um, start this Nova Bench now. So I'd recommend you try Nova Bench on your computer if you're curious to see how much it, how it performs. So I start it. it. Wants me to close programs, but I'm going to leave my monitoring programs open. So you can see it jumps up to 3.9 now or 3.4 excuse me 3.49 well, it's doing the CPU test and it's really not too hard on the cores either I'm not using full CPU or anything so now it's doing the RAM transfer speed I do believe this shows the frequency. Yes. Okay, now it's doing the graphics portion. And I gotta say, this is amazing on this GTX 650. It's running easily 1100 frames a second there. Now it's doing hard drive, which is actually a solid state drive. So their score of 1109, which is pretty high. Not quite sure why I got a much higher score before when I was messing around. So, this computer can score an 1113. I was just changing the frequency on the graphics card. It looks like between the two, my uh, CPU didn't perform quite as well as last time. This is the current one though. 105 <clears throat> megabytes a second transfer speed. That one's 107. So with the solid state, you get a little bit of fluctuation in your reading and writing speeds, but they're usually pretty consistent. But anyway, yeah, that's my uh, maximum score. I really don't know why it didn't perform that good. I think just need to try it again, I guess, and see. But kind of a big difference. Still good though. 1100 is always a great number I think so. And especially when you compare it to like MacBook Pros and stuff that only score like 400. Well, I'll see this. <laughs> I don't want to start any uh, whatever you want to say controversy here but my $700 machine performs hard, you know, hardware wise anyway is better than a laptop. And I guess you also have to remember that comparing a desktop to a laptop is not exactly, you know, ethical. So don't try to bash me in the comments about that, because I understand that. I'm just making a point. <laughs> but I thought, I mean, I don't mean to start any controversy. If you're going to get mad, just keep it to yourself, please. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that is my PC running Nova Bench. I'll also have to tag this in the videos that this GTX 650 is overclocked, so if anyone is curious on how it performs while overclocked, this video will explain that. 
I might make another video of different frequencies messing around with afterburner. See if that affects stuff very much or you know, so yeah, I guess rate, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos, please. And always as always I like to hear what you guys say in the comments about my videos and stuff, so